Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and it's time once again for another episode of the Weekend Roundup. What is the Weekend Roundup? Well, let me tell you all about it. It is the show where I take a look back at what I've done over the past week, I take a look ahead to what I will be doing over the next week, and we also talk a little bit about any gaming deals or special events that might be going on over the weekend. First of all, let's start out with what you're seeing on your screen right now. This is Frozen Synapse. It is part of, or the only part of, the Frozen, the Humble Frozen Synapse Bundle. That is the new Humble Bundle that just came online a couple of days ago. It is the sole game that is in that bundle. Well, in Humble Bundle style, it isn't actually the sole game. There are three or four other games included. If you donate over the uh, average, right now hovers around four fifty-five dollars. If you donate over the average, you can get the entire uh, Humble Frozen Bite bundle. Frozen Bite, the makers of Trine. Trine we'll be talking a little bit about later because we made a video about it this week before I even knew the Humble Bundle was back and offering Trine as a bonus. Serendipity, says I. You can also get Frozen Bite's other two major titles. That would be Shadowgrounds and Shadowgrounds Survivor, which are sort of that uh, overhead, three-quarters perspective, shoot 'em up action. Uh, you're a space guy and you're out in space and space things happen with space aliens. It's a space game. So <laughs> that's that is a that's the blurb that they actually had on the box. This is a space game and you're a space guy and space things. Yeah, um, that's I, I could be a press man for them. You also get access to an unreleased game uh, that has not yet come out. Once it's out, you'll get it. It's called Splot, I think. It's some kind of a platform puzzle game. I don't know. Colorful. Looks like a departure from the stuff that they've been doing, at least in style. Puzzle platform would not be a departure because Trine was quite a puzzle platformer. And you get an unfinished game called Jack Claw, which looks to be sort of interesting. He looks like Doc Ock with only one claw, and he can throw stuff around. And uh, it looked like a third-person action game, which would be would be a major departure from their other uh, existing titles. <coughs> Excuse me. So that has to do with the that that's all the information that I have right now about the Frozen bun, uh, the Frozen Bite bundle, the Humble Frozen Bite bundle. Go to humblebundle.com, take a look at it. I have purchased it, and that's why you're seeing Frozen Synapse in the background. And yes, some people do pronounce it Synapse, uh, and while I don't consider that a legitimate pronunciation, you may pronounce the word however you would like. I'm going to pronounce it Synapse because that's how the word's pronounced. So what did we do this week? Well, we played Trine, of course. Trine, yes indeed. The three different characters with three distinct uh, sets of abilities. It is Lost Vikings updated for our time, but it's even better than Lost Vikings. It's so much more so much more involved and so much more interesting uh, than Lost Vikings. Not that Lost Vikings was a great game. I mean, if you if you were playing games back then, it was fantastic. I mean, I loved the uh, the crap out of Lost Vikings when I was a kid. So uh, yeah, it is it is sort of a co-op extraordinaire. Uh, well, it's co-op without being co-op. You can play the game co-op, and I've heard that that's mind blowing. But it's an interesting take that it's co-op without co-op. You have different characters that you can switch to on the fly to do different things when you need to do those things. Very interesting, fun concept. Watch the video. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I did give away a copy of Trine. Uh, I gave it away to someone who was watching on uh, my TGN video, one of my TGN Space Marine videos, and actually answered a question that I asked in the video. I gave away a copy of Trine to them, partially because I'm cheap and Trine was on sale that day, and uh, I felt like it was a pretty good prize since I was doing a first impression of Trine the very next day. So it goes to show you, hang around, Keep your peepers open, and you can uh, you can get a flash giveaway at any any possible moment here on Big Davis Cheap. There might be one right now, but actually there's not. Sorry, but it could happen. It could. So yeah, speaking of TGN, I usually do the TGN stuff first so we can move past it. But lead-ins and all just led me to try. We did a Space Marine video over on TGN. Space Marine videos aren't getting a very uh, a very well. I wasn't going to say warm reception. I mean. Everybody who is watching them is, is seems to be enjoying them. It's just a lot of people aren't watching them. They're not getting a lot of views, uh, but I enjoy it, and I respect the people who are following the series enough that I will not end that series. If I'm playing the single-player campaign of Space Marine, I am recording the single-player campaign. I have a blast making those videos, an absolute blast, and uh, I will not stop unless they stop me. So what else did we do this week? Uh, oh yeah, the other uh, major video here on the home channel was the post-apocalyptic mayhem free-to-play video. 
Longtime followers of the channel will know that I'm a fan of post-apocalyptic mayhem. It is a fantastic, uh, mindless, racing action shooter, and I really, really love it. Uh, I did the video to kind of bring people along and inform them of, of what's going on. You can play it for free right now through uh, Sunday through uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Time Sunday, which is uh, which is 4 p.m. Uh, or which is uh, 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 God, math. Math, you've bested me again. Do your own calculations to figure out what the hell time it is, wherever it is that you live. But uh, yeah, it is uh, through 1 p.m. Pacific Time on Sunday that the free trial runs through. You can get the game for just $5 through Monday. So I would highly encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, hopefully this free-to-play and this sale will uh, meaty, uh, will make, will meaty? <laughs> wow. Will make the community a little more meaty and will uh, mean that uh, multiplayer games are, are more frequent, uh, more easy to find. They can more frequently be found. Because right now, uh, prior to this free-to-play weekend, it was difficult to find a multiplayer game for post-apocalyptic mayhem. So yeah, post-apocalyptic mayhem, take a look at it. You will notice that that video went over the 15-minute limit. That is because I did go ahead and go through the authentication process which uh, YouTube offers in order to get your videos over 15 minutes. With my previous accounts, I had simply put out enough content and got to a level where YouTube automatically enabled that for me. But in this case, I needed that extension. I've been wanting it for a while. Uh, the reason I hadn't done that previously was I object to the activation process because I do not, and prepare yourselves here, I do not own a mobile phone. No, I don't. And in order to activate, you are required to own a phone which can send or receive SMS texts. And I do not own such a phone, but a little bit of finagling got me through and I got the activation code that I needed and got my account activated. Now I can post longer videos. That doesn't mean that I'm, I'm going to all of a sudden start posting 25 minute videos. It just means that when I need that extra two or three minutes, like I did with post-apocalyptic mayhem, I'm going to have it. And I'm not going to have to butcher a video to get it to fit under a time limit. If you take a look at the person who I essentially stole this concept uh, for first impressions from, Total Biscuit, his WTF is series, those videos run on average from, from uh, 18 to 25 minutes. So that shows you that in order to really sh to, to give someone a game from the perspective of a first impression, you need just a little bit more than that 15 minutes on average. Uh, I have managed to get a lot of my games under, well, everything up until now under that 15 minute cap, but very often those videos have felt rushed. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, what else did we, uh, what else did we do this week? I don't think, did we do anything else? I don't know. If we did, tell me in the comments that I forgot about it. Otherwise, let's take a look at the gaming deals that are about this weekend. Over on Gamers Gate, they are having an SP FPS week. So uh, that will feature some games that are in our sort of cheap uh, area. Uh, some older games. Painkiller is a big one that stands out. Painkiller, a fantastic game from several years ago. Uh, first person shooter, lots of, uh, of gory sort of demonic action, shades of, of, of doom in a way. Uh, a little bit of Quake feel from that as well. Uh, Fear 1 and 2 are on sale. Uh, all of these things I'm pointing out are on sale within our Big Dave is Cheap $5 budget. If you want to go a little bit more than that, you can get some of the Unreal games. You can get Postal 2. Several other things are available out there for uh, above our limit. Well, it actually looks like Postal 2 and Unreal Tournament 2004 would fall within our tolerance. So, uh, so yeah. Take a peek over at Gamers Gate. Plenty of games to be had over there in the first-person shooter genre. On GOG, excellent. They have not done another. I'm very happy that they've not done another one of these gimmick sales where the more you buy, the more you save. They have simply done a flat 50% off of all Rebellion games. Rebellion, if you don't know them, uh, you may know them from games like Empire Earth, the Empire Earth series 1, 2, and 3 as well as where I know them, Lords of the Realm. Oh, memories of my childhood, uh, Lords of the Realm, one of those games that I played, one and two, played the hell out of those games when I was younger. A great sort of uh, empire management slash action RTS game. I mean, it was kind of like 
really Lords of, Lord of, Lords of the Realm, when I, when I played it, it felt like civilization, that, that sort of empire-building-centric civilization model coupled with a sort of a, of, of a Warhammer, a Warhammer, of a, of a Warcraft 2 model where there was a good amount of combat, but there was also a good amount of actual empire building. Lords of the Realm, I think the, the last one they released was three. You can get that for three bucks right now uh, during this rebellion sale. That is GOG dot com and of course we've talked about the big one on steam and that is post-apocalyptic mayhem free to play as well as 50 percent off so take a look at that so that's going to do it for the deals and whatnot that are spread across the internet right now i'm sure there are others but nothing has come to my attention so let's talk about what is uh, what is in store for us for the week ahead well i want to do a video for frozen uh, for frozen synapse most definitely want to do a video for that because of the Humble Bundle, because I want to try to publicize that, that video may actually end up going up over on TGN because I want to support the Humble Bundle. If you have been a fan of me for uh, for the last oh, three months or so, uh, you will know that I was a huge supporter of Humble Bundle number three. I, I did a, a first impressions of every single game in that bundle, as well as doing some publicity for that bundle over on TGN Games, uh, which is the sort of TGN... Uh, minor league channel where you sit for a few weeks until they promote you to a full director. Now I'm a full director on the full channel and uh, I can reach a much larger audience. So what I am hoping to do is put out the Frozen Synapse video probably over there on TGN trying to spread the word about the Humble Bundle. Of course, hopefully you know the Humble Bundle is a charity bundle. It's pay what you want, pay what you think the game is worth slash pay what you want to want to donate to charity. You can then set up your donation, whatever you pay, let's say that you pay $20, you can, you can spread that amongst the publishers and amongst the charities and a little tip for the Humble Bundle themselves. So yes, indeed, I think that's going to do it for us. We will do a Frozen Synapse video for certain and something else. We'll do something else. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something. All right, guys, until next time, I have been Big Dave. Take it easy.